Bacterial senescence. Bacterial senescence or bacterial aging refers to the gradual decrease in cellular function in individual bacterium as they increase in age. Indicators of senescence include a decelerated division rate and an increased likelihood of death. The fundamental cause of aging in bacteria is thought to be the accumulation of deleterious components aging factors. Asymmetrically dividing bacteria, such as Colobacter crescentis, show signs of replicative aging. The results for symmetrically dividing bacteria are more nuanced. For example, Escherichia coli, under certain experimental conditions, may exhibit signs of replicative aging caused by subtle asymmetries in its division. Factors contributing to aging. Aging factors can be defined as irreparable damages to cellular components which ultimately contribute to the decreased fitness of the individual harboring them. Putative aging factors include damaged DNA strands, old cell surface material, and misfolded or aggregated protein. The cell poles of replicating E. coli are often used as a proxy for aging factors as each bacterium inherits an old cell pole mother's pole and a newly synthesized new cell pole. Inclusion bodies, masses of aggregated damaged or misfolded proteins have recently been shown to contribute to the aging of cellular organisms. Senescence in single-celled organisms is thought to arise via the asymmetric partitioning of aging factors between daughter cells. It has long been argued that, on theoretical grounds, the preferential segregation of damage in unicellular organisms would contribute to the fitness of the overall population. The single-celled eukaryotic organism, Saccharomyces cerevisiae, retains deleterious aging factors in the mother cell leading to rejuvenation of the daughter. Aging in asymmetrically dividing bacteria, bacteria. A well-established example of bacterial aging is Colobacter crescentis. This bacteria begins its life as a motile swarmer cell. Once it has found a suitable substrate, the swarmer cell will differentiate into a non-motile stalked cell. The stalked cell then becomes reproductively active and gives rise to new swarmer cells. The number of progeny produced per hour by individual swarmer cells was shown to decrease with age. This was the first evidence of bacterial aging. Aging in symmetrically dividing bacteria. Organisms which replicate via symmetric division, such as E. coli, are thought to be immortal. However, by tracking the inheritance of both the new and old cell pole, evidence of aging was found in E. coli. A cell which has consecutively inherited the old cell pole has been shown to exhibit a significantly decreased growth rate. The decline in growth rate in Stuart et al. appears to be at least partially attributed to the preferential localization of inclusion bodies near the old cell wall. This localization is thought to be the passive result of the slow diffusion of the large aggregate and the exclusion of the aggregate by the nucleoid. A similar mechanism of aging has been found to occur in Schizosaccharomyces palm, which divides via symmetrical binary fission. However, the original findings of E. coli aging have been partially refuted by more recent microfluidics-based studies in which individual E. coli showed a constant growth rate for hundreds of consecutive cell divisions, although the death rate increased in each cell division. This discrepancy may be due to the different culturing methods used in the two studies, i.e. growth on agar pads vs. in a microfluidic device.